Hello all, in this video I'll show you how to compute some of the descriptive statistics using JASP software. So in order to do that, I'm going to use a data set based on this particular paper reference. So here I do have certain uh, demographic variables as well as constructs like work family balance, job satisfaction, family satisfaction and life satisfaction. So now I'll try to create the descriptive statistics table on the basis of all those available information. So in order to do that, you just open JAS software and then go here, you try to connect the data set. So this is my data set. So to, to perform descriptive statistics, you just click descriptive statistics, descriptives, and then you just include the variables in the variable box. Here, I'm just including work family balance along with the age, job satisfaction, family satisfaction, and then life satisfaction. So as and when you include the variables on the right hand side, you will be able to get the scores like a mean value, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, everything you can get it. And over and above, you can also create some plots. There are different sort of plots can be created with the help of this menu. Now in the statistics, I just want to compute mean, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, I don't need. And then I would like to get skewness and then cortices values. So this is what your result. Now for reporting purpose, uh, whatever may be the way you want to alter the table, you can alter it and then you keep it in your manuscript or maybe thesis. This is the way how you can uh, you can run the analysis using Zest software. And as far as this results are concerned, um, for age, I'm getting 49.937 as a mean value. For work family balance, I'm getting 4.809 as a mean value. For job satisfaction, 5.936. For family satisfaction, 5.78. For life satisfaction, 5.39. So there are about 294 observations are available in my data set. And correspondingly, I'm also getting skewness, courtesies values and so on. If your skewness and courtesies values are closer to zero means, so you don't have any issue of uh, norm normality, otherwise, uh, uh, you you can say that usually according to the literature they say that so the skewness value must be less than one and cortices values must be less than three so as far as the site uh, i mean uh, literature citation is concerned i could see um, in most of the cases uh, less than three as a cortices value and then skewness is only for js fs and ls slightly it is higher for especially for js and fs still it is acceptable Thanks for watching this video.